You're listening to Colonel Hala, episode one. Oh, good evening. Won't you come in and have a seat in the parlor? Now that we've had our evening repast, we can put up our feet and relax. I apologize that all I had was spaghetti with sauce from the jar. But I love ragu, don't you? Now let us light our cigars. Yes, I know I need to quit. Don't die, Goliath. But I'm saving up for an enchanted vape pen. And Goliath is a hellhound anyway. He's used to inhaling fumes. Plus, I'm already dead. Didn't you know? Imagine, if you will, that your life has just ended. What if the figure that shepherds you into the afterlife is simply the steward of another life? A life not much different from your life on Earth, but populated by strange characters and macabre problems. What is your purpose? What are you doing here? And what comes after this bizarre new life? These are all burning questions posed by our protagonists, the recently rechristened Chip and Bonita, proprietors of a spooky gift boutique in Curdle Hollow. Let's join them in their first day on the job in an episode we call Return Policy. Stupid TV will not turn down! More for your zap, down! down. Of those turn down! You wear a zap ring. For scare power on the go, wear one of Zap Code's many attractive models of zap rings. From ghoulish garnet to vampire onyx, there's a zap ring for you. Your painful finger zapping days are through. Find them at Colonel Holler's fine retailers. Get more for your zaps and less of those zings when you wear a what? zap ring. I am so sorry about the television volume. I'm trying to figure out how to turn it down. Okay, I'm just gonna come up here. Okay, see, my partner and I, um, this is our first day running the shop, and I don't know how to do anything. I'm sorry, ma'am, what was that you said? I said I got one of them Zap Co. Zap rings. I liked it okay, but it turned my finger green. <laughs> that jingle is so long, I'm sorry, say again? I said I got one of them Zap Co. Zap rings, and the zap works good, but the, the ring term of finger green. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry if it's impolite to ask, but you are a goblin, right? Goblin. Yes, I'm, I got a cave and everything. <laughs> okay, so that is right. Yeah, a big dank cave, a pile of goo I love to go rooting around in. The whole shebang. Oh, goo. Sounds moisturizing. Living the goblin dream. But if you're a goblin, wasn't your finger already green? (laughs) Oh, you got me. (laughs) 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 Hey, y'all carry them enchanted pokey sticks I might could stab a head and carry it on? You know, I I really don't know our inventory that well yet. Um, I can look. Take your time, baby. I'm gonna paw through these trinkets here. And I apologize in advance for the goo. I'm definitely dripping some goo. (laughs) Okay, sure. I'm sure I can find a mop. This place is so weird. What am I doing here? Where am I? Y'all in Cattle (laughs) Holler. Welcome to, welcome to, Boo Tiful 
Okay. Ah! I'm back from the basement. There's a lot of weird stuff down there. Okay, I didn't see you coming at all. Well, there's no need to rub it in. I thought you agreed to find something to drape over yourself during business hours. You look ridiculous, you know that? You're like literally a blonde wig over a dotted outline. You look like the ghost of Andy Warhol. I look ridiculous? You're the one doing the expose piece. Live from the Grand Tetons. Everything in the closet looked like this. Even the turtlenecks. I knew you so long on Earth, but I never saw you this desperate for ratings. Can you stop? Did you find the manual for the television set yet? I still can't get it to turn down. Yes, I did. Here it is. But according to this, we're supposed to have a channel zapper forged from the same crystals that power all magical actions in Kirtle Holler. And that if we want a replacement, we have to mail the leg of a wistful griffin to some address in the catacombs. Pass. I don't even know where to start with that. Ugh. Maybe we can get our butler guy to help. What's his name? Igor? Billingsley? Rochester. Rochester. No, Rochester. Okay, he gives me the creeps, but this TV is driving me crazy. And so are the customers. You're right. Um, Rochester? Yes, Miss Von Wangenkamp? Okay, it's Langenkamp. Tish Langenkamp, okay? Peabody Award-winning news producer Tish Langenkamp. No, ma'am. The account ledger shows the names of each new proprietor who appears after their death on Earth. Your names are written in calligraphy here, in the blackest of inks. Bonita von Wangenkamp and Chip Clearly. Chip Clearly? Hey, that's not bad. See the news clearly with Chip. Chip clearly can see right through you, evil landlords. Just like you can see through him. I need to work on it a little bit. Well, I think your being invisible kind of means that your on-camera days are more or less over. But what did you require of me, Miss Von Wingenkamp? I live to serve. Serve softly, large or small, as the town motto says. Uh, sure. Do you think you could figure out how to turn down the volume on the television set? The buttons are covered in weird symbols, and it doesn't have a plug, so... It's haunted, Benita. Oh. Everything here is haunted. Okay. <laughs> sure. Can you fix it? Sure. It'll be a scream. Yes, I just need to find my vices. I will squeeze No, let me at it. Okay, give me, hear, hear me right now. Hey, it works. Yeah. Nita, I did one. Now you have a nice day and enjoy your big pokey stick, ma'am. I got just the head for this back in my cave. <laughs> I bet you do. Bye-bye now. Who's next? Bleh. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Ah, yes, a friendly ear to bend. I grow weary of the red stains on my white tuxedo. Do you have any oxygenated crystals? Do you mean this? It's what we on Earth would call laundry detergent. I've crossed oceans of time to see my white tails at their whitest. Thank you so much, kind shopkeep. I shan't forget your aid when my barbershop group is performing nights in white satin. Now, zappity zap. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Say, maybe next time you just don't suck anyone's blood when you're wearing your white tuxedo, am I right? <laughs> I'll have you know it was spaghetti sauce. Hmm. That appears to be a ghost machine. Perhaps if I work with these continuals and calibrate the frequency. From the haunted hills to the unknown depths of the sea, it's CHTV News, Colonel Holla's only newscast. Hey, Chip, look. They have a newscast. How come that guy gets to be on the news? He's decomposing on camera. In Colonel Holla, we don't pick our professions. They choose us. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Okay, let me watch this stupid thing. Ugh, their pacing is terrible. Their technical director should be fired. I know their technical director. He was fired in an actual fire. I can still hear the screams. 
Yes, watching. Okay. Halloween preparation is still underway as Kuruhala citizens get ready for the annual lifting of the veil between here and the Earth. Town caretaker Belfry Batsinger says that the Hala's annual return to Earth should supply the town Fright Crystal with enough zaps for the year and beyond. Here he is speaking at an election rally earlier this afternoon. Yes, sir! We have been doing some dandy big zaps, and I have seen some magnificent scares from our citizens. After Halloween, we will not only have a fully charged Fright Crystal, but we will also have some extra zaps left over to enchant a glorious new mausoleum for yours truly. Now, I've been your caretaker for 600 years. It's about time I got an upgrade of the housical nature. <laughs> but really now, it would be an honor for the 601st time to ceremonially lift the veil for you terrible looking people to run amok on Halloween. Meanwhile, it's business as usual today after a weekend plagued by rolling blackouts throughout the holler. Caretaker Batsinger attributes these blackouts to simple troll hexes and says that citizens need not worry about the town losing fright power. One person who disagrees is the caretaker's challenger in the upcoming election, Sheet Ghost, Albert Ghost. We're seeing a number of problems with the town's fright power lately. Between the rolling blackouts and other anomalies in our zap power exchange system, it is my belief that our town fright crystal is at dangerously low levels. He spoke of the blackouts today at the Colonel Holler Public Library's Election Roundtable, comma, Bummers and Hopeless Candidates edition. And finally, when asked about the rolling blackouts, single-issue candidate Undead Zed had this to say. Brains. Zed think. We should eat brains. After the break, our death-style maven, Belinda Frightwig, is going to give you makeup tips for freaking out your former loved ones on Halloween. Stay tuned after these commercials. Get more for your zaps and less of those zings when you wear a zap ring. Wow, they sure do show that commercial a lot. So how's the repair coming, Rochester? Agonizingly slowly. But let me retire to the basement and see if I can't scare up some better tools. Get more for your zaps and Still going. Excuse me, madam. Yes, Mr. Pumpkin. Mr. Pumpkin. No, not Mr. Pumpkin, just Pumpkin. Because I'm a big orange pumpkin. <laughs> yes, I see that. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know where to make eye contact. Do you have a face carved on there somewhere? Heck no. Carving on a pumpkin hurts his feelings. And faces on a pumpkin are too scary. I see. What can I do for you, pumpkin? Aren't you cold dressed like that? You know, I'm fine. Uh, again, what can I do for you, pumpkin? Okay, but you gonna catch a cold just letting it all hang out like that. Isn't that right, fellow customers? Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought so. My thanks to the congregation of weirdos in my store. She's pretty, but uh, she's kind of rude. <laughs> I need to return this big old magic knife. I thought about carving a face on me for Halloween, but it's too scary. And besides, I hardly ain't got no zaps left to be spooky at all. I can't even sit up in a wheelbarrow on my own front porch no more. Oh, so a return. Okay, I guess we can do that. So, like, I press the button that says... Zap back. 100 zaps. Okay, uh, zap back. Amount. Uh, one, zero, zero. Enter. Okay, that didn't work. Your screen says no zaps available. What? We've been selling things all day. This machine has to be wrong. You don't have enough zaps. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Just work. <laughs> Maybe some of these nice people monsters would like to buy some more things. Then we can do your zap back. You there, fur face man. Here's a genuine silver hairbrush. You in? Silver? Oh, it burns. Oops. Okay, you slimy guy. Uh, sir, with the slug face. How about this nice jar of... Tombstone polish. That's only a salt base. <laughs> Sorry. You, sir, a skeleton with a gun. Can I interest you in these frog entrails? Maybe later, as I'm partial to frog. 
Well, let me tell you what I ain't partial to. Fraud! I'm, I'm sorry, what? I said fraud. That's just fraud. Cold as a stone cold, cold grave. That's fraud. Mr. Skeleton Man, with a very cool looking gun, we just started this job today. We aren't defrauding anyone, I swear. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bones Malone. I'm the sheriff round these here dismembered parts. And I don't take too kindly to newcomers defrauding my citizens out of their rightful scare power. Now get a punk and his zaps back. That's right, Sheriff. They need to give me them. Listen here, you dumb orb in overalls. We are trying. There isn't enough what, energy in the system or whatever. They were even talking about it on the news earlier. There's no way you could have missed it. It was very loud. Now, I don't think my boss and good friend, caretaker Belfry Batsinger, would take too kindly to your mad implication that the town is low on fright power. Clearly, your machine is in error, and I'm feeling all full of resty today. Okay, Sheriff, who I now see has two holsters and thus two awesome guns. We don't want any trouble. We will get Pumpkin his zaps back as soon as we figure out how on this machine. Because let me tell you, you don't want to go to Colonel Hall of Prison. It's crawling with vermin. Of course, that's just lunch. But it's stuffed with bad, dead dudes. Yes, yes we, we understand. understand. Bad dudes and rude dudes. Dudes without hands. Dudes with many hands. Hands with no butt. The I can't believe he's still doing it. Rudiest, rudiest, tootiest, dude, dude, dudes. Bad attitudes. A fruitiest, nudiest. Well, sometimes. Oh, my lord, I can't hear my darn self think. Hey, he fixed the TV. Now our only problem is the customers. They're getting restless. Quickly, I need an elixir to stop my transformation. We're holding up the line. I love putting people in jail. I just like to say it. Jail, jail, jail. A jail, 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 jail. Okay, jail. that's it. This stupid zapper thing is still being weird. I'm gonna ask the zombie butler guy to figure it out for us. Okay, first, eyes up here. Second, do we have to? Because he really creeps me out. Come on, let's just ask him. Rochester, Rochester, you still with us? You summoned me? Oh, boy. Can you fix this thing? Let me see. Oh, yes. This machine has been gravely damaged. Here we go. Only a skilled inventor, perhaps only an insane mind, could fix this device. I would recommend... My girlfriend. Was not expecting that. Nope. What are y'all talking about over there? Rochester's girlfriend. Well, hurry it up. She can repair anything. And I love her. For her brains. Okay, ignoring that last part, I feel pretty good about this plan. Bonita? It's better than jail, Chip. Let's go see Rochester's girlfriend. It's settled then. Excuse me, ladies and ghouls. Really? If you allow us some time to resurrect our machine, we can resolve the zap back issue. You have till the stroke of midnight. And then it's jail time for hairdo and dotted line man. Well, there you have it. You must leave at once, and I shall man the register. But first... Take these and ring me at the first sign of danger. Ooh, bone phones. I was going to say telebones. Follow the main road. Hurry back. And do try to keep your heads. <laughs> he always says that one extra thing. Oh, that was a terrifying little journey. Uh, no. Not one person recognized me on the way over here. Oh, really? Because I think I see a fan right now. What? Where? You turn around and look in the freezer case. What? Why would I... Oh, God! <laughs> Good grief, woman! You about gave me a heart attack. You're dead, remember? 
Hey, I think your boyfriend over here is getting jealous of me. What? Oh, God! <laughs> I think your loud outfit woke them all up. Let's just find Minerva and get back with the Zapper so we can start working on our plan to get back home. Ooh, look. Sunglasses. Or that. These are great. Maybe I'll get some bandages, too. People could finally see me. Hey, remember that time we died and got sent to Halloween Mayberry and went to monster jail because you couldn't stop trying on sunglasses? Hey, are you two gonna buy something? You're riling up my cadavers. Oh, hey, I think that's Rochester's girlfriend. And is that her... Brains? And they're... On the outside of her head? Yes. Yes, they are. Next victim. I mean, next customer, please. I thought you was gonna fix my problem first. Wait over there, and be silent as a corpse, pumpkin. I must help this witch with her purchases. Now, how may I help you, madam? I wanna buy this here monkey paw, but I ain't paying full price, cause somebody already used the first wish. And I could've used that one for something good, like my warts. They're hardly noticeable, I assure you. I want more warts, you nitwit. They're markers of wisdom and respect, and they're cute. Then I wish to apologize. That's a wish. She gets a discount now. <laughs> Thank you for your input, Pumpkin. I was beginning to mourn your absence. I'm just saying. And make sure you get my senior discount. Senior discount? Why... You look fresh from the grave. I'm 500 damn years old and you know it. Now make with a discount. This situation is getting grim. <laughs> what is it now, pumpkin? You took too long and now I need to go to the bathroom. Take the bathroom key and beware the handle. You must jiggle it when you flush. No, I need help. Hold my hand. I recoil at the thought. Oh, hold that baby's hand. I ain't a baby, I'm a pumpkin. Sheriff's update. While hearing your nonsense, I have grown bored and ornery. Therefore, I am moving our timeline from midnight to 8 p.m., which is pumpkin's bedtime. This way. Right. Furthermore, anybody who annoys me now is going to jail. Rochester? Yes? What time is it? It's six in the evening, and the dark is upon us. Thank you. And also, jail. So basically, Minerva, you have a couple of celebrities in town. Didn't know if people knew that. Celebrities, huh? That's right. Well, did you have a fancy car? Yep. Was it expensive? Oh, yeah. How much? Like, 120 thou? Huh. Well, how much did hers cost? Nita, how much is it to lease a Kia? Anyway, like I was trying to say earlier, we need to issue some refunds at our store, and your friend Rochester said you might take a look at our zap reader. He said you could fix anything. Anything. Except Rochester. <laughs> oh, all right. Here. Let me take a look. Oh, good. Her brain pulses when she thinks. Yeah, I see the problem. It got fried trying to pull down zap when there wasn't any can't hardly run this town no more on account of the zap running so low. We need about two Halloweens to get things back on track. Old Batsinger says he can fix it, but he's had one or two tries already. But he does have charisma, I'll give him that. And that Albert Ghost makes a good point about the zaps, but he's plumb pitiful. Now let me try this thing here. Ow! Wrong one. Okay. What about this one? Okay, did you catch any of that? Because all I can think about is her gigantic freaking brain. Yes, I was also thinking about her brain. And also, okay, this about those sunglasses. Focus, Chip. Okay, done. Wow, really? Now, let's just test it out. Let's see. It says you have a balance of... Zero, zero zap, zap back. back. That's what I was telling you. No more zap in the bank till Halloween. You better sell something big and real fast. You know, because of the jail thing you told me about. Yeah, we remember. Well, at least we've got the zapper working. How long will it take us to get back to the store? Well, you could take the same road to get back, but it changes paths on the hour. So it could be quick, 
Could be long. Wonderful. Any more questions? Yeah. How much for these sunglasses? Leave the glasses, Chip. I'm going to try and call Rochester again in a minute. Still no reception. Are we sure this is the right street? Yep, same creepy people, same creepy houses, same Halloween decorations, which is still weird to me, by the way. It's like double Halloween or something. Man, the moon sure is bright tonight. I better put on my sunglasses. What? You bought those? How is that even possible? I thought we were broke. Um, actually, I meant to put them back, but forgot. So... You stole them. No, forgot to put them back. No wonder we're here. You belong in jail. Who knows, maybe they'll think you already went through the electric chair. Because of the because hair? Because the hair. Pretty rich coming from a paper doll template that's wearing a wig. Hold that thought. I'm going to try Rochester again. It says it's roaming. Is that bad? Yeah, probably. Hey, it's ringing. Thank God. Rochester, it's Chip. Yes, Rochester, Chip clearly from the store. Do you know a lot of chips? Uh-huh. Well, we've got the reader working, but we're broke. We need you to sell something outrageously expensive. Of course. But I must inform you that the sheriff has shortened our window. Judgment now comes at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? That's like two hours from now. I'm afraid so. Furthermore, several customers have coupons. It's an epidemic! Okay, you know we go to jail if we can't find the money, right? I feel like people aren't getting that. By the way, jail. Jail, jail, jail. That guy jail, gets jail, it. Jail, jail, jail. Can I tempt you with this ancient tea set? Once used by Daylor the Dainty? Only 5,000 zap. Oh, please. I got eight little hands and I can't lift a thing. You should see my web. Broken garbage everywhere. That is unfortunate. At this rate, I fear the new proprietors are doomed. What's this story, anyway? I cannot say. They simply appeared. While the weaving circle was talking, and we think they recently divorced, but later reconciled after hours at an aquarium, and then tragically died while trying to save themselves from some angry sea lions. But it's just a rumor, okay? So don't go spreading around with your big mouth, Rochester. I also heard that rumor. I mean, I'm just a floating eyeball, so I didn't hear it. But I was comically ogling the woman, and I'm pretty sure she said something about an aquarium. Something negative? Oh, yeah. Juicy. I can't wait to tell the girls. So, no one craves a mysterious old tea set, slightly chipped, possibly cursed? What's taking your friends so long, Rochester? My metatarsis are on fire! Dookie dookie doo. Say hey to Pumpkin. Pumpkin has returned. You look distressed, Pumpkin. More so than usual. Is everything all right? I couldn't find a bathroom. Remain there, Pumpkin. I shall accompany you. No, I'm just gonna hold it. It's your choice, Pumpkin, but do so at your own peril. I go hold you forever because you won't give me my zap bag. One more hour till arresting time, in case you forgot. Excuse me, everyone. Does anyone else wish to make a purchase? Or are you all returning? Returning. I don't have any money. But there's music to my ears. Jail, jail, jail. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Okay, we have to stop a second. I'm dying. I mean, I'm dead, but I'm dying all over again. Uh, Speak for yourself. I'm in excellent physical shape. You have no physical shape. And your shape looks like two ham hocks in a pillowcase. Look, we'll just stop here for a second. What is this place? Is that a giant ice cream cone on a platform? So, ah! you want to know about the old ice cream cone, eh? Well, I've got the scoop. Get it? <laughs> yes. We get, get, get it. it. Of course you do. I was just walking Goliath here. Say hello, Goliath. And I heard you come by. You're the new couple that runs the gift boutique, yes? Well, we're not really, uh... Yes, of course. Well, I was just telling Goliath that I need to get over to the boutique and buy some things. I just adore antiquities. 
I'm a bit lonely, you see. I don't have many friends among my neighbors. The hellhound, well, he does fiery bathrooms. Burns everyone's yards. Don't you, Goliath. You should come with us. We're on our way back to the shop right now. Well, perhaps in the morning. I've already changed into my evening robes, you see. Uh, they're just robes. And your outfit looks like two water balloons taped to a trash bag. Okay now. Anyhow, the giant ice cream cone. If you look to the blue scoop in the middle of the cone, it twinkles, do you see? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that looks like something. Way. That's the say. Fright Crystal. It's the source of all the town's power. Whenever we do anything in Kirtle Holler, we power it with energy from the Fright Crystal. Legend has it that acts of service in Kirtle Holler keep the crystal full and the town running. It stems from the mysterious words of the town's seal. Here, see, that we're walking over right now. Wise words, see? Soft serve, large or small. It... Isn't that just from the menu of the old ice cream parlor that was here? Some say it's just the menu from the old ice cream parlor that was here. We'll never know, but I still try to do acts of service just in case. I always do pick up after Goliath, you know. It's just, well, the fire leaves a mark. Well, I know of a great act of service you could do for us right now. Can you change back into your day robes and come with us to the boutique? Oh, what's so pressing? We desperately need someone to purchase a 100 zap item so we don't have to go to monster jail. I'm listening. <sighs> okay, here we are. Remember, we only need about 100 zap back and that'll keep us out of jail. Thank you so much again. Hmm, what am I to do here now? Now I'm getting worried. Catch up, Chip. Everybody inside. Okay, so did you see anything you like so far? Amulets, ooze, a lunchbox for some reason? What, it's all so lovely. Let me browse for five hours and I'll let you know. Just so you know, Benita, I call the top bunk. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that? Tell them what it is, punkin. It's the hour of judgment for you. Pretty dark there, pumpkin. <laughs> Hey, I think Goliath really likes that glowing tennis ball. It is the Eye of Tiro, a fiendish artifact of incredible power. And would you say it cost about a hundred zap? Yes, I believe it might. <coughs> we'll take it. But use Goliath's account. He has all the money. Well, sure, I was gonna say. <laughs> a ghastly sound. Not quite enough zap. Woohoo, yippee! Yes, sir. Get over here, you two. I got the perfect sale for you. Right next to Banshee Brown and Swamp Dick Sullivan. Woo-hoo-hoo. Jail, 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 jail. I'll haunt the courts until you're free. Wait, wait. Hold on. Couldn't we just pay the difference? Don't we have, like, personal zap juice? A bewitching idea, if dangerous. A small zap from your own soul could tip the scales. We don't have any choice. Then give me your finger and place it on the keypad. I'll remember your sacrifice, Nita. You too, Chip. Fine. Ow. Good lord, that hurt. A success. Oh, dang it. We still had a little room in the jail. Now we must pay back Pumpkin. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Really? Oh, my God. Oh, dear. It looks like your days of service have just begun. Wait. I smell burning. Do you smell burning? I definitely smell burning. A million apologies. That one's my fault. It seems Goliath has relieved himself in your stationary section. I'll fetch the Hellfire Extinguisher. We hate, you have to go, it's time.